Hi, I'm Nicole Tanner, and I'm a fourth year medical student at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I'm Dory the Fish. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't need an introduction. I'm famous. You know, from the movie Finding Dory. I'm that Dory. So, as a lot of you know, I have a disease called amnesia. It basically means memory loss. Wait, what was I saying? Oh, right. I have a disease called amnesia. Did I already say that? Anyway, today I'm going to talk to you about my disease. But before we get into that, let's talk a bit about memory. So, how does memory work? Well, say I'm talking to my friend Nemo. This conversation is now part of my short-term memory. But in order for me to remember this conversation a week later, my brain needs to make it into a long-term memory. And it does this by a process called consolidation, using a part of the brain called the hippocampus. Now, the hippocampus translates information and makes, the, makes, something, makes it into something that is easier for the brain to understand and store. So, say short-term memory are like pieces of a sandwich. But it's pretty hard to put it in the fridge like this, or in my stomach. So I put it in the hippocampus, and it processes it, and bam, long-term memory. Even puts it in a Ziploc bag for you. Now it's much easier to store. Now, when the hippocampus is damaged, it becomes harder to form new long-term memories, which brings us back to amnesia. There are two types of amnesia: retrograde and anterograde amnesia. Retrograde is backwards. It means forgetting facts and events that happened before the disease began. Anterograde is forwards. It means not being able to form new memories. So, say that you're the main character in a sappy romantic comedy, and you get into a major car accident. Retrograde amnesia would be if you woke up and forgot why you were in that car in the first place, or that gorgeous male lead's name. Anterograde amnesia would be if you woke up. Ate a sandwich and five minutes later asked, "When was the last time I had a sandwich?" You see, life ha life as an amnesiac is quite hard, and I know it's frustrating being around people who are so forgetful. But I hope that now you understand the mechanism behind memory and amnesia. It can help you understand people and fishes like me. And sir. Next time you forget your wife's birthday, you can just blame it on your hippocampus. Thank you.